KTSM 9 News Now starts right now. Ten people shot dead and nine others are injured following a shootout between cartel rivals. We'll have more on this story la later in this newscast, but first, new and disturbing details in a shooting over the weekend that involved a shoplifting incident that led to a murder. Thank you for joining 9 News Now. I'm Estela Casas. A 19-year-old is dead after he was allegedly shot by a man who thought he saw him shoplifting at a gas station in Horizon. The shooting happened in a desert area off Horizon Boulevard, and that's where we find KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap. And Shelby, did the alleged shooter follow that 19-year-old? Estella, according to the arrest affidavit, that alleged shooter did follow that 19 year old to this desert area that you see here behind me. Now, this is off of Horizon Boulevard, where that gas station was, where the alleged shooter says that he allegedly saw that person steal something from the store. You can see Horizon Boulevard away from this desert area here, but go ahead and take a look. You can see 21 year old Jose Manuel Villa, who was arrested. Now, the arrest affidavit says that the 19 year old Adon Tiscareno died after being shot in this area, but that the affidavit says the alleged shooter, 21 year old Vila, first saw the victim at the gas station, alleging that the victim left after running out of the store with items and that the vehicle he left in was, quote, driving recklessly. Now, the affidavit states that the 21 year old wanted to follow the victim to make sure he would not, quote, hurt anybody. Now, following the vehicle to the desert area, in that area, both got out of their vehicles and the 21 year old allegedly shot the 19 year old who he saw running out of the store earlier. Now people who live right next to the desert area speaking with us. Well, that's scary because they shouldn't take their they shouldn't take that upon themselves. They should have just called the police so then they wouldn't avoid the shooting. Now, in the arrest affidavit, it says the person arrested turned himself into law enforcement and was asked why he shot, and he replied that he got scared, thinking the victim had a handgun. Now, that affidavit does say that that victim was shot from behind when he was returning to his vehicle. Estella, back to you. Okay, thank you very much for the latest on this uh, developing story.